Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with Henna and today we're gonna do a most energy boosting full body workout. So we're gonna work hard today, focus on all the muscle from heart to toe. We're gonna use the breath and total body engaging movement to increase our circulation and increase the blood going to your muscles, thereby rejuvenate your whole body. Are you ready? Let's begin! Alright, so let's begin by allow yourself to lie down on the mat. Now keep your back in neutral and pull your belly button in, shoulder down far away from your ears. Open your legs hip width apart and press your feet down, keep your feet flat here. Your legs parallel, your knees facing up to the ceiling, pull your belly button in. Now inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And couple more times, stay with your own breath. I want you to make sure that you keep your body firm, your hips stabilized. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. So press your arms down, your palms down. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, feel all the air go into your lungs. And exhale. Slowly, still pull your belly button in deeply. Now inhale one more time and exhale one more time. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly inhale, bring one leg up, activate your foot here. Now keep your hips square and your knees square here. So inhale, slowly bring your leg down and come up and bring it down. Press your arm down, reach your hands toward your heels, shoulder down and keep breathing. Five more times with your own breath. Four, squeeze in the thighs, two, and make sure that you only move your leg here. And last time, bring it up and then bring it down back to the other side, activate your foot here. And again, make sure it's 90 degree on your knee and belly button in, hip balance, arms down, inhale slowly, bring your leg down and bring it back, squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Keep breathing, inhale down, and exhale up five more times with your own breath. Four, three, keep breathing, contract your pelvic floor muscle, and last time, down, and bring it back, and bring your legs down. Now from here, track one foot distant from your heel to your butt, open your leg hip width apart, keep it flat. Now inhale, slowly draw your hips up, each vertebra at a time, press your shoulder down, look toward your knees, belly button in to support your low back, and slowly draw your hips down, each vertebra at a time. Inhale, slowly go up, keep your legs parallel here, press your foot and your feet down to the mat, inhale, lift, and exhale, bring it down slowly. Now use your breath to control the movement, so inhale, and exhale. And five, six more times, see with your own breath. Very good. Now we try to speed it up a little bit here to start to create and build the energy from here. And three, lift, two, and last time. Inhale, lift, and exhale, slowly bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right now. I want you to inhale. Keep your heels and your knees together. Now bring your leg up and bring the other leg up. Stick your heels and your knees together. Activate your feet, arms along your body. Make sure you don't arch your back here. Now inhale, slowly bring both legs down and come up. You don't have to bring your legs all the way down. Just half of that until you start to feel like your back start to arch because I want you to keep it neutral. So keep breathing here. Inhale down, squeezing your thighs together and exhale, come back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here, pull your belly button in, and keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, come back. Four, activate your feet. Three, back in neutral, shoulder down. And two more times with your own breath. And last time, inhale down, and exhale, come back. Very good. Now from here, lengthen one leg up to the ceiling, and bring one leg down, Dorsi flex with your foot, Make sure your hips balance, inhale slowly, bring your leg down and all the way up to the ceiling and bring it down. 
and back. Seven more times with your own breath. Six, five, four. Keep breathing, belly button in. And two, last time, inhale down, exhale, come back, hug your knee to your chest, rotate your ankle and reverse. Now bend your knees down and bring the other leg up to the ceiling, Dorsi flex, inhale, and when you're ready, bring your leg down and up, and down, and lift it up. Keep breathing here. Engage your core and squeeze your inner thighs together. Five, and four, three, two more times with your own breath, and last time, bring it all the way up to the original point. Bend your knee, rotate your ankle, and reverse. Now from here, bring your leg up and bring the other leg up. Stick your heels and your knees together here. Now open your arms to 45 degree. Now see flex, inhale, exhale, lengthen one leg, come back to the other side and bring it back. Imagining that you are trying to push something away from your body. Lift and come back, lengthen, bring it back and activate your feet here. Squeeze in the thighs, feel them connecting to each other. Very good. And five more times each side, to your left, to your right, press your shoulder down, chin to chest, look towards your knees to protect your neck, two, to your left, and last time to your right, last time to your left, bring it back, and then I want, I want you to slowly press your shoulder down, bring both knees to your left, and come back to the other side. Activate your feet. You can either pull your toes to the front or keep it dorsiflex. Press your opposite shoulder down. So I want you to only move your leg to the point that your shoulder still stick to the mat. Belly button in. Feel your oblique here. And five more times each side. Four. Keep breathing. And smiling. Come back. Three. And two more times with your own breath. Use your breath to control the movement to your right. Come back and to your left and bring it back to the center. Now bring one leg down and to the other side. Now make sure that you feel the balance on both hips here. Arms along your body, press your shoulder down, inhale and exhale. Bring one leg up to 90 degree here. Now slowly rotate your knee around your hips. So inhale, activate your feet here, keep your knees 90 degree, and every movement start from your hips here. So we try to do it five more times with your own breath. Four, three, two, keep breathing, contract your pelvic floor muscle, and last time, around and back to the central reverse. Couple more times with your own breath. I really want you to feel your thighs here working and the side of your hips very good and keep breathing here so three two and last time bring it back to the center leg down to the other side and start to rotate again make sure that you keep 90 degree on your knee and your leg activate your feet your back neutral, belly button in, press the other foot down to the mat. Really feel your core here, your thigh, around your hips. Very good. I'm going to do three more rounds. Two. And last time, inhale halfway, exhale halfway. Now bring it back. Keep breathing. And press your shoulder down your shoulder far away from your ears. So four, three, two, and stabilize your hips here. So every movement start from your hips, but only your leg is moving. Bring it back to the center, leg down. Now from here, open your leg hip width apart, press your feet down. So your knee on top of your feet here. Inhale deeply, draw your hips up each vertebra at a time, pull your belly button in. Now I want you to lift your heels up and bring it down and lift and down. Ten times with your own breath. Nine and eight. Squeeze in the thighs. 
and contract your pelvic floor muscle. Squeeze your butt together. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, press your arms down, shoulder down. And last time, lift and slowly bring it down. Not this time, each leg, each heels up at a time. So inhale to your left, to your right, and left and right. And seven more times each side with your own breath. Make sure you still stabilize your hips here. Belly button in. Five, four, to the other side. Three, keep breathing. Two, and to the other side. Last time, contract your pelvic floor muscle. Slowly draw your hips down each vertebra at a time. Shut your hips from left to right, very good. Now from here, open your arms to 45 degree, lengthen your leg up to the ceiling. Activate your feet. Now inhale and exhale, lengthen the other leg to 45 degree inhales. Open your leg to the side, draw a half of the circle and come back. Change, switch, up and down. Keep breathing, squeeze in the thighs like your legs tracing each other. Keep breathing, activate your feet here, belly button in. And keep breathing, inhale halfway, and exhale halfway. And three, to the other side. Two more times with your own breath, to the other side, and last time. Inhale, exhale, come back, inhale. And now bend your knee, half your knee to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. Very good. Now from here, I want you to put your hands along your body, Press it down, your whole arms, press it down, shoulder down, reach your hand towards your heels. Now this time, bend one knee to chest, lengthen one leg to 45 degree. Now inhale and exhale, switch and switch. And a couple more times, say with your own breath, make sure you keep your back neutral, belly button in, shoulder down. And six more times with your own breath, lengthen like someone pulling your leg away from the center. So we do it five to your left. Squeeze in the thighs and four, three, and two. Keep breathing. Last time to the other side and have your knee to your chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, use your hands to hug your knee. Lengthen your leg here and lengthen the other leg to 45 or 30 degree. Engage your core as much as possible. And the lower your leg is, the more challenge will be with your core so listen to your body and then lift your head and your shoulder off the mat pull your belly button in shoulder down far away from your ears now lengthen inhale and exhale switch and switch squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here belly button in and five four keep breathing three Lengthen and use your hand to pull your knee closer toward the chest a little bit last time. And hug your knee, chin to chest, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly lift your head and your, sh your shoulder off the mat again. Now, I want you to bring your leg 90 degrees, stick your heels and your knees together, scoop your belly a little bit more, chin to chest, belly button in, arms along your body, inhale slowly. Pumping your hands, inhale five times, exhale five times to your mouth, inhale and exhale, very good and keep doing it with your own breath, squeeze your inner thigh, activate your feet and feel the blood circulate, circulate around your body. Now if you want more challenge and work your core more here, Lengthen your legs to 45 degree. Inhale deeply. Make sure you don't arch your back. So stick your lower back down to the mat. Keep breathing. If you feel that is too much, always can bring your knees back to 90 degree. And if you feel tired on your neck, use your hand to support your head here. Or you can just lift your chest a little bit higher. Chin to chest. Belly button in. And keep breathing here. And three. Contract your pelvic floor muscle, belly button in, and two. Last breath, and exhale through your mouth, and hug your knee to your chest, shoulder down, head down. Take a deep breath, inhale, 
and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly open your arms to 45 degree here. Now inhale, bring your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Activate your feet. Open your legs wider. Squeeze your inner thighs. Bring it back together. And open. And come back. And 10 more times. Stay with your own breath. Keep breathing. And inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Inhale. And exhale. Arms down, palms down. Shoulder far away from your ears. Shoulder blades. Stick to the mat. Keep breathing. And four. Three, open, contract and squeeze in the thighs. Two, and last time, close. And now bend your knees 90 degree here, hands along your body, anchor your core to support your lower back. Inhale and dorsiflex, slowly push both legs further away and come back. So push and bring it back to 90 degree, work your core here. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Use your breath to control the movement. And inhale, exhale, come back. Very good. And feel the energy grow from the trunk, the core, to other part of the body. So keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bring it back. Inhale, and exhale. Engage and squeeze your butt. And two more times with your own breath. Lengthen and come back last time. Bring it back. And now from here, hug your knee to your chest, take a deep breath, belly button in, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. Very good. And now from here, I want you to slowly bring one leg to 90 degree here, and one leg to the side. So uh, try to switch your right leg to the side here. We start from here, keep your hips stabilized. Why well, I want you to start from here, because I want you to keep the hips here. Don't fluctuate it. Just keep it stabilized here and not move. So open your arms 45 degree. Inhale and exhale slowly. Bend one knee and lengthen the other leg. And lengthen and bring it back. Squeeze in the thighs. Couple more times. Stay with your own breath. And five. Lift. Four. And lengthen. Activate your feet. Two. And last time. Lengthen and bring it back. Now slowly close your leg and bend your knee, lengthen the other leg up to the ceiling and open your left leg to the left. Make sure that you keep your hip, your hip bones stick down to the mat. Again, inhale and exhale, lengthen one leg and bend one knee and come back, switch. Very good. And we try to do it a couple more times, stay with your own breath, activate your feet here, squeeze in the thighs, engage your core as much as possible and three, Lengthen, two, and bring it back with your own breath. And last time, lengthen and bring it, bend your knees, close your legs, and bring your legs down. Take a deep breath, shake your hips from left to right, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. All right, now from here, I want you to slowly inhale and hands along your body again. Now this time, press it down with your hand toward your heels, draw your hips up each vertebra at a time. Now from here, I want you to slowly bring your hips just to the middle of the height and then come back all the way up and down to the middle and all the way up again. Engage your core as much as possible and squeeze your butt. Bring the sitting bone close to each other. So lift as much as you can and come back. Press your feet down. If you feel like a little bit pressure on your knee, you always can move your feet further away a little bit. And five more times with your own breath. Four, keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs. Contract your perfect floor muscle. And two, lift. And down last time, lift and slowly draw your hips all the way down to the mat. Shake your hips from left to right. All right, now from here, I want you to bring one knee to chest, lengthen one leg to shoulder and your head off the mat. Use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider and press your shoulder toward your hips. Pull your belly button in, engage your core. Inhale and exhale. Slide. Try to reach your chest to opposite knee. So exhale, lift it off the mat and lengthen to the other side and lengthen. So we try to do it a couple more times here with your own breath 
and five to your left to your right so again we're not trying to reach the elbow to the knee but we try to reach the chest to opposite knee so that way you can try to lift your chest a little bit higher and you can work your oblique more open your elbows wider and three more times each side keep breathing exhale every time we move up belly button in and sink your lower back down to the mat last time to the other side and come back hug your knee to your chest take a deep breath inhale and exhale very good now from here bring your legs down keep your feet flat open your legs here with the part here now bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling palms facing each other inhale slowly draw the hips balancedly lift up and hand over your head in the yoga squeeze your butt slowly bring it down and lift and bring it down and a couple more times with your own breath squeeze your butt four three belly button in support your low back here good and last time inhale hold it here now face your palms up to the ceiling and chin to chest belly button in inhale and slowly i want you to move your hips to your left try to push a little bit and then try to move your hip to your right so your feet still press it down and feel like only your hips moving here make sure you engage your core to support your lower back and slowly but come with a lot of energy with it very good so inhale and exhale back to the center and to the other side and come back three squeeze it in the thighs together and smile and two and to your right and to your left last time slowly bring it back to the center draw your hips down each vertebra at a time and shake your hips from left to right now bring your hands back to along your body now this time i want you to bring your arms to the side and palms facing down to the mat inhale slowly lift your arms just above the floor so i want you to feel the gravity on your arms uh, here now keep your feet parallel and keep your feet flat here inhale and start to make a little pump with your hand here your arms your whole arms not just your hand very good so we do it five four three two and one slowly pull your palms up to the ceiling facing up inhale and start to make a little pump again and we try to do it five four three keep breathing naturally with your own breath last time slowly bring your arms all the way down to the mat take a deep breath inhale and exhale very good now again one more time i want you to leave it off the mat again feel the gravity here inhale slowly palms facing up and move your hand extend your hand along your body and open it all the way over your head here good make sure you always keep your arms just above the floor and parallel it lift so parallel and don't bring it down to the mat always try to keep it at the point that you really feel the gravity on your arms and it work so we try to do it five more times so inhale and exhale come up and bring it back along your body take a deep breath inhale and exhale very good and three more times with your own breath make sure you still slightly engage your core here two inhale all the way up get all the energy extend into your body very good and last time inhale and exhale beautiful now i want you to face your palms down to the mat here now slowly move it above to the side and above your body again i mean above the floor again now inhale slowly chin to chest and try to reach your left hand to the left and your right hand to the right try to reach a little bit more and i want you to still keep your feet flat your hip balance so your hips and your legs are not moving here 
over your shoulder try to reach a little bit more and to the other side and stretch a little bit here so five to your left four keep breathing press the feet down don't make any movement on your legs here and two to your left and last time to your right last time to your left reach and bring it down very good take a deep breath inhale and exhale very good now bring your leg to 90 degree here inhale now palms facing to the front and again still keep your upper arm parallel to the floor just above the above the floor a little bit inhale and slowly rotate your arms so your hand come back to parallel to hold arms parallel to the floor and move it up again keep the 90 degree on your elbows here keep up and down and lift and bring it down so six more times with your own breath and five keep breathing belly button in four three beautiful and two and last time lift bend over and lift and bring your legs down now this time try to keep it 90 degree here inhale and exhale lift just above and bring it down so i really want you to feel your arms working now so make a little pulse here with your arms and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly open your arms to the side try to reach both hands to both sides reach and come back bring your arms along your body and take a deep breath inhale and exhale very good now from here i want you to keep your feet flat now open your leg here with your part inhale slowly draw your hips up all the way up to the ceiling pressure arms down belly button in engage your core as much as possible now this time inhale slowly bring your hips down just to the middle and then move it to your left come back to your right still press your whole arms down and lift it up and bring it down to the middle and move it to your left and move it to your right and back to just the center all the way up squeeze your big butt squeeze in the thighs contract your pelvic floor muscle and do it with your own breath make sure you engage your core to support your spine very good and five more times to lift and down and to your left back to center to your right and back to the center lift and down and two more times with your own breath lift up down left and right slowly and last time lift it hold it here for three two in get your core and one bring it to the middle bring it to your left hold it here for three two and one chin to chest bring it back to the center and to the right hold it here for three two and one bring it back to the center draw your hips down slowly with your own breath take a deep breath now inhale and exhale through your mouth all right very good now from here i want you to slowly lean on one side and four arms down shoulder on top of your elbows now lengthen your leg here one foot on top of the other one so you can activate your foot soft in your knees a little bit if you need to make sure you engage your core as much as possible and then hand behind your head here inhale exhale lift and inhale down lift your hips up and bring it down and make sure that your hip is on hip so don't flex to it don't make it to the front or to the back just keep it stabilized and engage your core as much as possible and we try to do it five more times with your own breath for belly button in squeeze it in the thigh contract your pelvic floor muscle and two press your arm down last time and bring it down very good now this time i want you to lengthen your arms all the way up and pull your finger to the side so now inhale arms along your body here and lift your chest a little bit more in your core as much as possible now put your foot down so one foot in front of the other one now inhale lift your hips up and bring your arm over your head pull your belly button in and come back soften your knees a little bit if you need to inhale lift and exhale bring it down and four more times with your own breath bring it down four lift and down three keep breathing 
soften your elbows if you need to and always make sure you keep your shoulder far away from your ears and last time inhale lift and exhale down slowly with control very good now from here I want you to change to the other side okay. now forearm down again your shoulder is on top of your elbow here pull your belly button in and one foot on top of the other one now hand under your head or behind your head here belly button in squeeze your butt squeeze your inner thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle now inhale slowly lift your hips up and bring it down and lift and down and belly button in slowly with your own breath very good and keep breathing so five more times four now try to lift your waist a little bit up and back three two more times and last time lift and slowly bring it down now this time put your foot in front of the other one and lengthen your arms all the way up straighten it so again now put your waist a little bit more and inhale hand along over your head and come back we do it six more times with your own breath belly button in soften your elbow a little bit if you need to and four keep breathing three feel your oblique two and last time lengthen and come back slowly and come to front cross your leg here now sit tall inhale deeply and exhale deeply and one more time here inhale deeply through your nose sit tall with your back lengthen and exhale slowly through your mouth and that's the workout for today hope you guys enjoyed it and please subscribe to see the next workout every day so see you tomorrow bye